Hello YouTube, it's Andy from Flanker, and today we're going to show you how to install Blender, Armor Toolbox and Mikiro's tools. So you're going to want to download these three files, the Blender, Mikiro's tools and Armor Toolbox, and you can get them from the product in the product description, in the video description. This whole text bit here will be in the video description. So first one, I'm going to go to Blender and let me just bring that down so you guys can see it. Oh wait one second actually. I'm in full screen. <laughs> there we go. So we go to Blender from the from this um from the description. So blender.org slash download, it'll take you here. Download the latest version, which is 4.0.2 at the time of the recording of this video. And then there's another download. You may as well download them all before you start installing. It's the Armor Toolbox, and you can get that from the GitHub page. So it'll take you to this page. Whatever the latest version is, at that time of the video it's 4.0.4. .4. You download the zip file here. And the last download before we get started is Mikiro's tools. So go to this website here. And the file you want to download is Mikiro's AIO installer beta. So look down this list till you find it, it's there, and you click download. So now we've got all the files downloaded. Let's get them installed. So we're going to start with Blender. It's a simple process. Um, you could probably read this. I don't. I don't know if you should. I'm probably signing my life away, but I'll just install it all default settings and then you'll get a security alert and you just say yes to it to one of them um what they called it's one of them windows things that really annoy you like you're just installing like a boom you have to click yes to continue one of them <laughs> user account control that's it the uac notification so blender's going to install this is all free the software here by the way you can buy a license for makiro's tools that's more when you get into the advanced side of modern, if you're new to it, just use a basic version for now. So that's finished installing. Let's um, get Armour Toolbox installed. So for that, we'll actually need to go into Blender. What I like to do is on the search menu, if you search for Blender, you can pin it to your start menu. And if you use it a lot, pin it to your taskbar as well. So you'll have an icon down here all the time now. So if you want to quickly get to Blender, you can just click on that icon or it'll be in your start menu up here. I'm just going to click on it there. So let this let this one load up real quick and we'll install Armour Toolbox. Um, I leave all these as default. Change the theme, there's different themes. I don't like messing with that, so I just click continue. And then I click on the side. Just click away from that and it will go away. So to install the add-on, you go to edit, preferences, add-ons, install. And then you look for this zip file. So I'm going to copy that real quick, the URL for it and put it in there, armatoolbox.zip, and you enable it, and that's installed. And one more tool that I'll be using a lot, it's part of Blender by default, but it's not enabled, it's called, hang on a second, I forgot what it's called, Node Wrangler. So you just type in Node, and there's Node Wrangler there, you just enable that. So that's Blender pretty much set up for now. You can close out of this, don't save. You can delete the Blender and the Armour Toolbox zip file. You don't need them anymore. And let's install Makiro's tools now. So you get another one of them user account controls. Just click yes on it. Click continue. Or oh, I forgot what that just said. I'm assuming it's continue or next. <laughs> that's, that's just how I install things. I don't want a desktop shortcut. You don't really need them. So launch the installer. It'll probably tell you there's an update. Even though we just downloaded the latest version from the website. Yeah, there we go. Look, there's an update. So I update that for, for a second. Take a little quick sip of my tea. Another user account control, click yes. Let that finish. And then install all. So it's installing. Uh, another user account control, click yes again. You get a lot of these when you install software anyway. If you're like me, you just click yes to anything. <laughs> so this is installing real quick and there's a line of text that you need to edit in this and a couple of settings to change so there we go everything's up to date you can close this now the one tool we'll be using mostly from this is called pbo project so you go to your windows search for pbo project and again i like to pin this to my taskbar no to my start menu this one you don't have to do this but it's easier to get to so open up your pbo project 
if it says this, it's just because you haven't got Steam opened. You don't need it open right now. So just getting this set up. So you go to Setup, this little button here. Change this engine at the top from Armor Free to the Daisy SA. And then in the product description, in the video description, you'll see this bit here, the uh, PVO project code. I'm going to copy all of this line. So copy it. And then in, inside of here, in this minus X exclude PVO, you want to paste it in there and paste it in the one underneath. And the last one to double check is this bit here where it says do not convert PNGs to PAAs. If that's checked, uncheck it. So that will automatically convert your PNGs for you. You don't have to go around the like the long way of converting them manually. So that's all set up. And we'll continue this bit here later on when we're packing the PVO. But that's everything set up now. So um yeah, we've got everything set up for this part. Hopefully this video is easy to follow. And if you want to ins help installing the tools that you just purchased from Franker.com, you want to click on this next video. There'll probably be a link to that in the description as well once it's uploaded. So join the Discord if you want to talk to us. There's a community of people that love to help each other. I'm on there pretty much all the time. So if you need any help with the tools, any help understanding anything, do not hesitate to ask. So if you like this video, hit the like button. I don't really want it in the algorithm. This is just for people to... <laughs> yeah, anyway, anyway, I don't know. I've watched too many videos. A lot of people ask you to like. They ask you to subscribe. So I'm going to do the same thing. And that'll be the end of this video. I'll see you in the next one.